Hi there. Uh, we're going to create some gears, and this is one of our projects that we need to do in this class. We start out by making two to one gears. Well, what does that mean? It means one gear is twice as large as the other gear. So if you turn that large gear once, it's going to turn the small gear twice. Conversely, if you turn the small gear twice, it will turn the large gear once. Let's start out by making some circles as our reference. We'll use center circle, and we'll start with a diameter of 60. So I'm going to put in 60 here. There, there we go. Uh, say OK. There, that's good. Now we're going to make a second circle. We might as well start with a circle in the center. That's the easiest way to get this centered up. And we're going to put a diameter of 30. Now, we have one circle that's 60, one circle that's 30, and that gives us our ratio of 2 to 1. Now we're going to align the small circle to the right of the large circle. We'll use the left side alignment and move it over until it touches. That is the center of our 2 to 1 ratio and the basis for creating the gear. The next step is to create the teeth. And to do that, we're going to make more circles. But we don't need to draw them. We're going to use offset. I'm going to click on offset. And I'm going to click on the large circle, say done. I'm going to put a value of 5 in here. And I'll first offset to the outside. Then I'll offset to the inside. I'll do the same thing with a small circle. Offset to the outside, offset to the inside. Now these are going to be, let me move this around so it's easier for you to see. These are our reference circles. To make it easier later, I'm going to drag across here and I'm going to click on all of these objects and click style. I'm, I'm going to use blue. Let me show you why. Later, when I don't need these anymore, I can just click on this eye and turn off all the blue objects. See how I can turn that off and on? And that's going to be very, very useful. For now, we'll leave those on. The next step is to create the stars that we're going to use as our teeth for our gear. We go to Draw Curve, Polygon. All right, here we have the Polygon. I'm going to start with the small. I'm going to click to the center, and I'm going to go to the outside, and I'm going to click. Now, I'm going to now change that number to 14. All right, now we have 14 teeth instead of the 5, and I will bring my point down to the inside. So now I have teeth that are the inside's touching the inside circle, the outside, the outside circle. We're going to do the same thing with our large uh, circle. I'm going to click on here, go to the outside, but this time I'm going to make it twice as many. We had 14, we need to make it 28. And I'll come to the inside. Now to make this easier to see, I'm going to turn those reference circles off. There you go. You can see how we have gears that mesh, but they're not the right shape. We use chamfer to get them to be the right shape. Let's start with a small gear. The, we're going to chamfer twice. The first time, let's go to Construct, Fillet, Chamfer. Notice because we had the small gear selected, all these dots came up. Anywhere we had a straight point, there's a dot. And we're going to chamfer those points. So we're going to say done to get all of them. And I put a distance of 3 in here and say OK. Notice how we created a gear shape. I'm going to do the same thing. OK, done. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Chamfer, done. And we already have, let's see, we're going to put the three in. We use the same number for both sides. Three. There we go. Now you'll notice they're beginning to mesh even better. Now what we do is go back to the gears 
and we're going to round off these corners just a bit. Let me go in here so we can see. I'm going to select the first gear, chamfer, done, and I'm going to put in, using the keypad, 0.5. And let's see if that works. Yeah, notice how it's rounding off the edges a little bit. That's going to smooth the edges so that they don't grind against each other. Say done. Now we'll do the same thing to this side. We're going to say chamfer, done. And now we gonna got that 0.5 and notice how we now have more room for the gears to mesh. All right. Now we need a hole in the center. And that's real easy. We're going to use a value of 11. And the reason for that is we'll make posts that go through those holes at a value of uh, 10. So we click on it. And we're going to make a diameter of 11. OK, there's that one. We're going to click on this one, a diameter of 11. OK, 11, hit Enter. And now all we have to do to make our gear is to extrude it. I'm going to extrude this gear, you, clicking on the teeth and the hole in the middle, construct, extrude, and let's say 10. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. And we're going to say extrude, 10. Now we're going to go to our 3D view and you'll see that we have in fact created our gears. Now there's a lot of things you could do to make these gears fancier, but in order to complete this lesson, this is all you have to do. And then all you have to do is make two posts that are a diameter of 10 and a base to put those posts on. And here's the size you use. Let me go to the top, name this big, big all right name this name name this one small okay okay i'm going to hide these objects big and small all right we're going to call these frames there we go that, that's good there we go we got them called frames now what i'm going to do is make the a base in the post. This will be 10. Notice how there's a gap there. That way you can put the uh, large gear over that post when we make that post. Here, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to say 10. Okay, I'm at 10. Same thing. Okay, now I can get rid of the frames for now. I'm going to turn them off. And I'm left with where our posts should be to mesh them together. I'm going to draw, as a reference, a line from here to here. The reason we wanted that line is I want the center of that line when I do this. I'm going to take a center rectangle, find the center of that line, round the corners, and watch what happens when I do that. Come out here. There we go. Now, I'm going to extrude these taller than the gears. So let's say construct, extrude 15. All right. And for this, I'm going to say extrude 3. This means that uh, the when we look at it from the front, these will be tall enough for the gears to fit on there when we print this. All right. Notice that even with that um, extrusion of the base, the size is uh, going to be 12. And the gears were 10. That means that the post is going to be 2 millimeters higher than the gears. And we'll go ahead and merge these together. Uh, union those together, I'm sorry. There we go. Let's union this. Construct Boolean Union. Now I'm going to say Stand. Okay. 
and we're going to go to the top view again, turn our gears big and small on, and we're going to select the stand and transform a line and move our stand up here. Now let's make sure that it will fit in our print area. And our print area is 140 by 140. It more than fits. So this is fine. This is going to be fine when you go to print it. You can print all of these together. So this is the way we do our, our gear project. I hope this is helpful.